All right, it is awesome to have Damon Magazoo back in Greenville, and uh, and Damon, I'm sure you feel the same way. At, when you're out there coaching in Vegas, are you kind of keeping an eye on what's going on around here and, and thinking and hoping maybe one day to, to be back here in Greenville? Absolutely. It, it's always been a goal of mine um, personally to be able to get back to East Carolina. Um, and I've watched from afar not just – uh, East Carolina, but I've watched from afar, you know, Coach Houston and Coach Harold, just with my relationship with Trip Weaver. Yeah. Um, so, you know, watching watching his career develop. Um, so I've been, there's a lot of familiarity with uh, Coach Houston and Coach Harold and what they've done at their different stops, um, just from me watching from out there on the West Coast. Uh, obviously a mutual interest in this job. Uh, was it us going to you? Was it you coming to us, uh, meeting in the middle? How did it all come to be? Uh, I think, like you said, a, mu a mutual interest. Um, you know, obviously being from here, I, I wanted to get back eventually. And, uh, you know, my family, my, as far as my mom and my siblings, live over the border in Fort Mill, South Carolina. Okay. So, um, you know, trying to get my family, all my girls, back back here to the east coast uh to be around you know more family was extremely important to me and um obviously when this opportunity came about nothing nothing more perfect than, than being back home and another positive thing about this opportunity is the defense you're going to work with damon great year last year despite the the win loss record how excited are you to get out there with the guys and, and make it even better than it was a year ago yeah, I'm just I'm hoping to you know continue to learn this defense and, and scheme under Coach Harrell and um, you know the the rest of the defensive coaches and as much as I can absorb from not only them but the players too the guys that have been here um, we've had a couple meetings and as far as sitting down and just talking ball and I've asked them questions hey what yeah. are you guys calling here you right. know I, I'm still trying to learn it and, um, I think. You know, watching from afar, they, you know, Coach Harrell's done a lot of great things at, at different stops um, with, with very talented defenses um, that play their tails off with effort and in a, in a attitude. And um, I'm just excited to be a part of this defense and be a part of this team um, because at the end of the day, the most important thing is that we win. And so um, that win column, you know, we got to take care of this year. And, it starts today, and, and, and that's what we're working towards, and our guys understand that. When you peek over there and, and see that field, I mean, do you get any chills? Do the memories come flooding back? What's it like for you to, to look at that field? You know, there's memories out on the field, but I think, you know, a lot of coaches will say the things you miss the most is being in the locker room right. with the guys and, and going through the, the tough things throughout an entire calendar year to then see the progress on those 12 Saturdays. Um, and so being back has, has brought back more memories of, you know, teammates and brothers and, and relationships that, that we grew throughout our time here at East Carolina. And, um, you know, it, it's been fun to reconnect with a lot of those guys that, um, you know, maybe we haven't kept up with each other as much the past couple of years. And now all of a sudden we're, we're talking maybe every other week. And so um, it, it's a lifelong bond, you know, once you step and play on this field and, through the things you need to to be successful. Well, you played like a coach. Uh, you look more like a coach. No, not a lot of grays in there, so that's a good thing. Uh, but I know Coach Ruff was fired up to get you back. He was on uh, the Holt Naylor show and, and talked about it. Uh, you, of course, come from a coaching background. How much have you picked up along the way that now you're instilling as a coach to these young guys? Oh, I've, I've been blessed to, to work with phenomenal people and mentors. Um, you know, never – Never once have I done anything on my own. Um, and so being able to learn from Coach Ruff, uh, Coach Grinch, Coach Riley, uh, Coach Arroyo, Coach Barry Odom, who I was just under, and, and now learning under Coach Houston and Coach Harrell, um, just trying to take pieces yeah. from you know their, their coaching philosophies um, and how they do things and see how it fits to my personality as far as being myself and coaching in that way. And, um, and been blessed to be around phenomenal people, phenomenal coaches, and um, just trying to continue to learn and, and continue to grow as a man and as a coach. And, you know, the gray hairs are slowly coming in, brother. <laughs> I promise you, there's about one or two right there. Um, that's mainly from my girls. They I hear you. <laughs> I hear that. Damon, good to see you, buddy. Good to see you, Thank too, you man. Brother. Yes, sir.